Hey everyone, Luca here with Remax Service First, and this is the podcast. And I am uh, back in Costa Rica. And if you can see behind me, you will see the stadium at which uh, I will be going to watch Canada play Costa Rica in their World Cup qualifying game. If they win this game, they're a lock, they're into the World Cup. If they tie, they're a lock, they're into the World Cup. They need one point in their last three games that they play. They're undefeated, they're top of their group, which is a monumental achievement. And they're four points ahead of the U.S. and Mexico, their arch rivals in CONCACAF, which is their group uh, in the World Cup play. So now today, this is part one, because the next part of this podcast is going to happen uh, in the stadium. I'm going to bring this mic uh, and we have apparently a fairly large Canadian contingent because on the plane flight down, there was a big Canadian contingent and everybody was going to the game. So I have the privilege, though, this today is the first part of this podcast is bittersweet because with me on my travels to Costa Rica this time is my long and dear friend, Ross Venditti, who's with me right here. Hey, hi, Luca. How you doing? <laughs> hi, everyone. So Ross is very upset because the other part of this saga is that all the teams were playing the World Cup qualifying games and Italy, after winning the European Championships just a two short years ago, less than two years ago, uh, had to play in a playoff uh, against Northern Macedonia, and their group was Portugal playing against Turkey. Portugal won. North Macedonia beat Italy, one nothing today. So that means Portugal plays North Macedonia, and the winner goes to the World Cup. So Italy is for the second time in the history of their World Cup lives not back playing back. back, not playing in the World Cup. So uh, which is not only. Hugely disheartening, hugely disappointing. Uh, it's shocking. Now, I've learned to not get as upset as I used to. Ross, not so much. But I'm going to let Ross just speak to a little bit about his Italian, uh, why he's so upset as an Italian. <laughs> but anyway, take it away, Ross. Sorry, it's a sad day for us. Um, the Italians losing the second time in a row, missing the World Cup. It is it's embarrassing for the Italian community, the Italian people around the world. However, we have something to cheer about. Right behind us here today, in about two hours, we're going to be seeing Costa Rica and Canada playing. And Canada is a shoe-in to win this game. It should win this game. Regardless, we only need one point to mathematically qualify for the World Cup. So... We lost Italy, we have Canada. Go, Canada, go. In about two hours, I hope you're watching this game. All right. Thank you, Ross. And hes uh, I talked him off the ledge from earlier because he's not been in a good mood. And I don't blame him. Uh, I haven't had time to think about it, but I'm, I'll worry about it later. It's, it's uh, As an Italian... Canadian, I'm, I'm very disappointed. But we will see you in the stadium. This is the view from the room that we have. And we might even see they're watering the field, Ross, like you said they yeah, would. Yeah, they water this spring. So this we, might even, uh, we might even uh, just stay here for if it starts to rain. Because unfortunately, we're in the mountains in San Jose, Costa Rica. And uh, it traps all the weather. So as you can see, it might get wet later. And if it does, we'll be here with a better vantage point. So I will catch you inside the stadium. Talk to you later. Folks, that's just some of the sights and sounds from inside the stadium here in Costa Rica and San Jose, the National Stadium. We're getting ready for kickoff. As you can see, it's pretty crazy. We've got some pretty diehard Costa Rican fans here. So, anyway, obviously they're supporting the home team. And uh, we're hoping the, our home team, the Canadians, will perform tonight. But just to give you a glimpse of how passionate people are for the work, for the game of soccer in the planet, this gives you a small indication because this country of about 5 million people, half of which live in this city, are pretty passionate about their soccer team.
Uh, you think they won the World Cup already, but obviously that's not the case. They're actually even singing the national anthem and you can't even hear it now. Pretty impressive, I have to say. Let's hope that if Canada plays another home game, that they get the similar response in their home stadium. Canadians are down one nothing. They're down one man. They had a red card sent. Uh, one of the players sent off on a red card on a retaliation. Sadly, uh, it was a newer player. I actually didn't get him from this angle who it was, but a lot of inexperience there. This is a very, very pro Costa Rican crowd. Not going to tell you. We're sitting right on the edge of the Canadian crowd and the Costa Rican crowd, and there is a lot of screaming going on back and forth. And most of it's in Spanish, and I don't even want to translate. In fact, I probably shouldn't translate what's being said from the uh, Costa Ricans to the Canadians. So anyway, long and the short of it is, thanks for coming out. Thanks for listening. Uh, we hope the Canadians can uh, recompose here at the halftime, get their composure back, and come out and try to at least tie this up. That's all they need is a point to remain undefeated and get through to the World Cup. So anyway... Yeah, well, uh, thanks for listening in, and I'll check in with you later. We'll catch up to you next week when I'm back, and uh, yeah, stay safe, everybody. Hope the weather gets better in uh, Kingston, and I will see you later. Bye.